Hey everybody, it's me, DJ Exotic. Uh, last night you probably saw some pictures of me posting up some um, things about my little new camera stand I got. This camera stand right here is made for the uh, iGo camera, the little camera you can mount on your helmet or your car or anything you can mount on the surface or a pole. Well, this little nifty thing cost me about 20 bucks and I liked it. The only problem was it has some kind of bolt system on it right here. And if I can find the little thing I'm talking about, if not, then I'm going to have to describe it. Yep, I have to describe it. Alright, I lost a little deal. Sorry about that. Basically, there was a little bolt at the end of this plastic. So let me zoom in for a little bit. If I can get a zoom in. Alright. There's a plastic right here that I cut off. The little two bushings. Not the bushings, but these little plastic bushings right here. Where the metal mouse put the metal for the ICO camera. Well, I shaved it off, and it had a bolt right here, so you can typically bolt in there. So, what I did when I uh, sawed it off, I kind of like put a one four bolt with two bolts, screws on it. Actually, this is a bolt, this is a screw, and this is a washer I put on there too. The screws are one four thread. I just need about five of them, so that's why I put the washers in the two locks. Uh, bolts right here is like a lockdown down the prediction for this uh, ZI-8 camera. Uh, it took me about like two hours to do this. Um, the reason why I bought this is because it's, you know, adjustable. If I can bring it down and readjust it. You know, readjust, loosen this up and so I can move it up more and tighten it up so it won't go nowhere. I mean, it's a good, great camera. I mean, a good, great camera stand right here that I just decided to hack up this little piece right here. Um, another thing I got, I got the camera stand for Best Buy anyways for 20 bucks. Uh, is one of these little things right here. Uh, this big one right here is the uh, telephoto lens, meaning that if I want to try to shoot a small shot, like a ladybug, like size of my pinky, I just put this on here with this O-ring. Oh, got tangle. Huh. It's tangle up. Uh, hold on, let me press pause on this camera and let me untangle this stuff. Alright, this is what I'm talking about right here. I have to shave off. Uh, let me take this screw off. This is the handle for the bolt. I basically have to shave this off, what you're seeing right now. Um, it took me about a good while to shave it off. I had to go to Walmart to get a handsaw. Um, not one, the, not the ones we're talking about. Would y'all think one of these that cost me like two bucks to get? Great handy tool to have now. But I had to shave this piece of plastic off. They had the metal bolt in the end, and um, when I shaped it off, I had to do some a little shaving more off the hardware. Also, I had to. Uh, when I did the other piece, this right here was originally for the stamp, but I took it off because it was too short for the threads on the stem. So I had to put a long one, which came extra with the hardware. So that's a good thing to have. Uh, I'm going to switch off right now to the ZIE camera. So here we go. Alright, um, sorry about the little interruption. Um, this right here is the uh, telephoto lens, the Zoom X2. Uh, I had to melt a special kind of ring that had a special kind of elastic tape on it, uh, which you see right here. Basically what it is, inside this one is a matted ring on it. And I just slide it right in here. Let me just focus this camera. That's basically it, and I can take it off and start trying to use the screws. This right here is the wine lens. And I'm going to take a shot off of this camera pretty soon. But basically, if I want to change something like, okay, I want to get a close-up of, you know, a bug or something on stage, you know, I take this. But if I want to take something like a wide lens to get a wide angle, I put that on. And if I want to store it, I just put on one of these little other rings right here, which is we attach. Uh-oh. Damn it. Well, it's too late. Um, it's a nifty kind of thing to have, especially if you're a uh, filmist. 
So let me shut the camera off and let me film on this one real quick. All right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna put this lens on the telephoto lens, and let me let me stand on the little stand real quick. It's not gonna get a view because it's in a high place. Give you an idea of what I'm looking at. So let's see if this thing can. All right. See how close up the mixer right here is. So let me take it off. And you see a regular shot off the camera. Let me put this back on. Let me get the little. So. There. Sorry about the little dust particles right here. That's a little dust particle. Now let's put the wide lens on. This little nifty guy right here. Now this is a regular shot. And here's the wide lens. Big difference, huh? <laughs> big, big difference. Let me take it off. Regular shot. Wide lens. Um, I'm gonna probably leave the wide lens on this one if I'm gonna do like a record set. So let's see if I can get a good angle of this camera. There we go. Like this is a basically a good stand and a good lens that I bought for a combo, which cost me around let's see the lens cost me about thirty bucks, and the stand cost me about twenty bucks, which equal out to fifty dollars. Taxes fifty three dollars, which I paid. So it's a good shot, good deal, good combo for this little ZI eight camera I got. Um, right now I am going to start working on another project. Um, let's see, how can I say this? It's not going to fall in this camera anymore. The Sony HD, um, what model is this? XR200. I mean, I love this camera. It takes some great shots in HD, but now it's time to upgrade and step up my game, which pretty soon you'll probably see the camera in March, hopefully. So I'm going to sign out, upload the video, and post some comments down below. Peace out.